Maria, this is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Hey guys, it's Arlie and I'm here with another video. Ah, I think it's a great day for video game enthusiasts around the fucking world, guys. They finally made a Sonic movie that is actually good. Let me explain. So usually, when we go through the plethora of video game movies that have just ugh, shivered us down the spine, we can talk about the Super Mario Bros. movie. We can talk about the recent Tomb Raider movie. I mean, it was okay. It's okay. And we can talk about Assassin's Creed with the Michael Fassbender. That just hurt my heart really, really bad for a fan of the Assassin's Creed series. They didn't even have Desmond. Bro, how you? The movie was trash, my nigga. But Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie, just did absolutely amazing. And I have to give it to him. Yes, it, it's not like a, a it, it's not the best movie, but it doesn't suck and it's a great video game movie that takes the best DNA out of Sonic and at the same time adds something new to the table. And you know, usually when Hollywood adapts something like this, it's going to suck because they don't understand the source material. This took the source material, how can I explain it, spend it on its own head without ruining it. You know what I mean? Like it took this IP and actually made it make sense in a Hollywood context that would be enjoyable not only for the masses but you know at least at the very least make the gamers happy. There are fans. I grew up on Sonic. This is the greatest achievement in mankind. We finally made a fucking great video game movie and we have to admit it this is a great film they did it so fucking perfectly i'm not gonna go into spoilers there was uh state-of-the-art cgi scenes that absolutely blow your mind i'm glad they changed the design of sonic because if they would have kept the original sign the original design i don't think the movie would be as palpable but even with even to be honest it's a good time and even with the bad design, the movie probably would have still been good, but we still would have criticized the design, which I think the movie would have not done so well. But because I changed that design, it will just, it would make your heart melt as a someone who grew up in the childhood, just seeing him go fast and be in these epic scenes in the CGI world. I mean, the CGI scenes, they were just amazed that action sequences were just like, whoa, oh my God, that just happened. They did a good job with that. Um, also, story-wise, I mean, is that the greatest story, like I said, but it's a, it's a story that's good enough for Sonic. Just like they did with Detective Pikachu. Great film because it didn't try to overcomplicate shit. It was just like, okay, he's here from this, this place and he got to this place. This is what's happening. This is what you got to do. No spoiler alert. But it was amazing, dude. They did it so perfectly. There's no better way. No better way. No better way. And that's why I say this film did what so many video game films have failed to do. Some of you are gonna mention, well, what about Laura Croft, uh, Angelina Jolie's Laura Croft, Tomb Raider? I mean, now that you go back and watch it, the movie, yeah, yeah, it's all right, okay? Um, it's all right. It's all right, and I can't think of another good video game movie. All the ones I've seen, personally, have sucked. Have sucked. Have sucked. Sucked. trash but you know in a world where anime re anime adaptions can't even survive we've managed to finally achieve something that many have thought has been impossible for almost over 40 years since they've started doing video game adaptions in my opinion so I think now that we're at this point, 
think things will get better. Ha ha ha, guys, gamers, they finally did it. They finally made a Sonic movie, well, a video game movie. It's actually good. See, here's the deal. Um, we can talk about Tomb Raider and all types of video game movies that have came before us. And to be honest, I didn't think they could make anything better than Sonic Adventure 2, okay? Sonic Adventure 2, you guys remember that, Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, it was it was a great game. Uh, story aside, you know, people thought the story was ridiculous. It's actually a pretty nice story, even though it can be wacky at times. Um, it taught you the how you could still find the good in everybody. Um, it, it was like that cliche, uh, two guys that were completely different against each other, Shadow and Sonic, um, and then there's this big threat that they have to fight against at the end. This is essentially every Fast and the Furious movie. And Sonic Adventure 2, if it was a movie, I think an animated movie actually, I think would have done well, or even if it was a live action movie for some reason. You can take the script for Sonic Adventure 2, change the rap for some other characters, and it would actually make a great movie. Uh, so, with that being said, Sonic the Hedgehog the movie. Everyone knows the controversy with the original design. I mean, he looked horrifying. Turned out, after they fixed that, I think there was a lot of heart in this movie to begin with, and maybe they decided to put a little bit more into it. And the movie is amazing for it. The movie actually works. A lot of critics are loving it, and it's killing at the box office. It's killing Birds of Prey already, man. The articles, they're going hard, okay? Did I see this coming? I don't think anyone did. No one, no one in their mind ever in their heads would ever think a, a Sonic movie? A Sonic movie would be the movie to break the video game curse. I thought it was going to be Assassin's Creed. I thought it was going to be the new Terminator. I thought it was going to, oh, well, you know what, I take that back. I didn't think it was going to be the new Tomb Raider. Uh, a lot of people like to reference Laura Croft's Angelina Jolie, but let's not get into that. So anyways. That is my take. I'm going to give you guys the rest of this video here in a vlog. But I think uh, th the idea of trying to get, get in your heads here is that uh, there's always a way to break through something. And, you know, at a time they thought that video game movies would never see that point. But we saw it with Detective Pikachu. We saw it with a bunch of other IPs that are working hard to build themselves. To be honest, now at this point, I think that if they were to hand over a whole franchise of Sonic movies, to a studio, it needs to be a studio that made this Sonic movie specifically. It doesn't need to be a great movie. I think that was the problem with a lot of video game movies. They had a lot of ambition, but was so focused on trying to make the story so fleshed out and it becomes a mess. But this focus on the special effects, the DNA of Sonic, and making a true son a true movie for Sonic fans. This is why Avengers Endgame was the biggest movie ever. It focused on fan service directly to all the people who watch Marvel throughout the last 20 or 10 or so years. 13 years, I don't know how long it was. Instead of trying to make it this epic, super epic movie ending, you know, for people who saw Infinity War. They could have went that route. The movie probably would have done well, but I think because it not only made it a conclusion to Infinity War, but a conclusion to the in entire, entire Marvel Cinematic Universe. It did really, really well. And I think for you to bring back a franchise and to redo it, you need to have some level of fan service and to pay homage to it well, especially in movie format in a video game. That's very important. Anyways, we're going to switch over to the vlog. Um, so. Here we go. And here's this little neat Easter egg, because I love Sonic. Sonic is the best, man. Somebody's doing great at the box office. There's going to be a, a, a sequel, likely, and uh, there's a post credit scene, and it's like Mushroom Zone. That's a little spoiler for you guys. Um, and yeah.